Hi, my name is Matt Moss from Smart Garden Offices and today I'm going to be talking you through the new Configurator and Augmented Reality app. So let's take a look. There are two ways you can do this and today we're going to be looking at the desktop version combined with the mobile phone app. The first thing you need to do is head on to our website which is www.smartgardenoffices.co.uk Once you land onto the home page you'll see in the middle the new Design Your Garden Room configurator button. Let's click and get started. On the next screen you'll have a number of options and in this instance we're going to be looking at the desktop option. So click on the go to configurator button. When the configurator loads you'll be prompted with a screen to continue. On the configurator you'll see all seven of our current ranges. It includes the Ultra, the Temple Folly, the Suffolk Barn, the Bell, the Key Studio, the Evolve and the Affinity. You can move your way through the ranges and on the right hand side it will give you the key facts about each of the product ranges. Once you've selected your desired building then you can click start your design. In this example I'm going to be building an Affinity. The next screen is about size and you can see the variations of size that you can pick from together with the starting prices for each of those. If you haven't already, now's a good time to work out what size your garden might take in terms of a garden room. Also you have the option of the roof lines, as different models have different roof selections. For the Affinity, we're looking at a hidden portico. I'm going to select an option of a 3.2 by 3.7 metre, but you can click any option as I'm showing on the screen now. Once you've picked your size and your roof selection, confirm selection to complete the design. You'll see on the next screen, this is the main part of the build, the configuration. It's quite intuitive. You can take out and add in different modules of, uh, of the room, windows, doors, panels. So for example, if you wanted to take out the front aspect and change that, you would remove each of the individual panels as I'm doing here and then you could add in a new panel. Click on the plus button and you'll have a number of options. Solid panels, doors, windows, and you can select them and see what they look like. If you pick something that doesn't work, you'll get prompted to say that you can't fit, or that doesn't fit, or that doesn't work. So don't worry, you can't go wrong with this. So for this example, I'm going to put in double doors with two floor to ceilings either side on the front aspect. And you can move around the building by dragging the building round using your mouse and again you can adjust the building to put in different elements. So if I wanted a window here for example I could from the drop down menu select any form of window from the menu and that will drop that in. <clears throat> move your way around the building and continue to configure to your own design. This is exactly how we would be building your building and how we would design it if it wasn't for the interaction with the configurator. So if you want to, you can put windows on all aspects, you can put doors, you can change it and tailor it specifically to your garden and to your needs. Once you've done the outside of the building, you can then work your way into the building. So we zoom in using the scroll on the mouse and you can see we go inside the building. Up the top of the screen you have a number of other options which includes ex um, exterior finish, exterior UPVC, interior finish and interior floor. So if I'm going to change the interior finish I click on the plus button and from that I can then change and select the different options for the interior. And it's the same with the floor click on the plus menu and you can see as you click through that it will change the floor options. Scrolling back out, if you wish to you could change the exterior UPVC as it's, that also comes in a number of different colours. Once you're happy with your, with your selection and your build you can then go on to the next screen, which is the additional options. So the next screen gives you the optional extras. You can have a flush interior, 
and you simply tick the box to say that you want it. Partition walls, you could have a panel light, blinds, and it's really about tailoring the building specifically to your needs. Options including climate control, lighting, electrical connections, and finally, subject to our consultation, how you would like us to deal with the installation of the base, whether you'd want us to deal with the electrical connection, and also the CAT6 connection for your internet. Once you've done that, and you've selected your options, you can see on the right hand side, your build has started to be put together and priced. You can tick and untick as many of these options as you like, and it will adjust the price the guide price on the right hand side of your screen. Once you've done that you confirm your selection and it will give you the build summary. So the next step is to view your building in the AR app and that's the really exciting bit. So you click on the button and the next screen gives you a prompt and the prompt is to scan the QR code. First before you do that you are going to need the smart AR app. So if you haven't already downloaded the app Go to the App Store, type into the search bar, Smart Garden Rooms Visualizer, and hopefully that will appear. Download the app, and then you can open the app once it's downloaded. When you open the app, you are prompted to view your design in AR. Click on the button and follow the prompts through. Once you've got your QR code available on the screen, hold the app up to the QR code and your building will appear as you've designed it with all of the details. So in this instance, a 3.7 by 3.2 affinity. So then you click the button to say view in AR. Once you've done that, you need to walk to your desired location and place your building where you would like it. You'll see you get a handy prompt on your screen of a square. Then you can move around the building and then with your screen place it to where you would like your garden room making sure that all aspects are in the right location aligning accordingly once you've placed your building this is the amazing bit you can then walk around it You can readjust it. On all aspects. And then you can go inside. And look around. And whilst in your building, you will see exactly what you would see when you're in your building. And this is the view you would get. So that is the smart configurator with the AR app on your phone. That's how you use it, that's how you place it, that's how you build it, and that's how you create the dream. So if you're looking for a garden room and you want help visualizing it, then download the new smart app today.